Just hours before the tragic news about Cornelia France's death was announced, her only child, Lawrence, took to Instagram to share a final photo of her with fans. The actress, who played Morag Bellingham in Home and Away between 1988 and last year, was seen lying in what appeared to be a hospital bed, with her eyes shut and a cuddly toy next to her, the television star was said to be peaceful in the image shared with his 1,327 followers. He captioned it, a very personal photo of my mum during one of her resting moments, she is so peaceful, soft and serene, I truly love this woman. 1960, thank you for sharing this beautiful photo. It's raw, real, beautiful and oh so honest, one person replied. Two others continued, Rip, Cornelia you will be so missed, and, you, were an inspiration to all of us. Rip, God bless you Cornelius, thank you for sharing this beautiful photo of your mum, at peace and nearing the end of her life. So very precious, my deepest sympathies, someone else added. Meanwhile, former colleagues and stars from the entertainment world have also paid tribute with Ray Maher, who starred as her on screen. Brother Alf Stewart, leading the charge. The 73-year-old Corny was an incredibly loved and valued member of our cast over many, many years. We had a moment of silence for her on set this morning and she'll be sadly missed by both cast and crew, Lincoln Yunus, who was in Home and Away from 2011 to 2014, tweeted. Ahead of the game, we'll miss your witty banter on set X. During her career, Cornelia also took on roles in dramas including Sons and Daughters, The Young Doctors and Prisoner. Fellow actor Joel Creasy continued online, I met Cornelia Francis when I was 11. I was pretty terrified but she could not have been sweeter and I have always remembered that. Sad day TV favorite Noel Hodder went on, Rip Cornelia Francis, a stalwart of the Oz entertainment industry. We worked together on Sons and Daughters and toured England together once in a play. A great character who will be greatly missed, Cornelia previously opened up about her condition after being diagnosed during a checkup at the Royal North Shore Hospital. She told the Daily Telegraph, I discovered I had bladder cancer. This then spread to my hip bone which fractured, and then I almost died from loss of blood due to an ulcer in my throat. Despite all this, I am still here, as the old song goes.